Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number three. And we're going up against an alliance called Vietnam MCOC. Uh, so I'm going in with my standard team. I've already scouted out my path, and it looks like my team will work. Uh, generally, it's going to work uh, for this path unless they uh, put a defender on there. I don't even know what defender they could put on there. Uh, that would make me change my team. Uh, you notice they did not place a defender on that first node. Uh, these paths are fairly straightforward and easy. Uh, so the first person I'm going to be fighting is Quake. And she's not difficult to fight. Uh, we're going to be dealing with Flo. So again, Warlock is going to be a wonderful uh, attacker for Flo. So... I'm not too worried about this fight. It would take a lot for her to not only, you know, defeat Nick Fury's decoy, but to then defeat the real Nick Fury. So I have a nice little buffer, and you can see, very easy, down she went. Uh, I love Nick Fury. I really do. Uh, I had heard so much about him, and I didn't have him. Now that I do... He comes with me every war. That buffer is insane. Now, at this point, I don't have deep wounds maxed, but I do have, I think, three points in it. All right, so looks like uh, the mini boss was taken, noted. All right, so uh, we go up and we wave at that Korg. Uh, now, my Omega Red is a great counter for this node. And if you watch other people, they take that Korg with Omega Red pretty easily. I need more practice. I don't do very well on that node. This is a case of my personal skill, not the champion. Omega Red can easily do that fight. All right, now, again, they didn't place a defender on that first node. So you already know this war video is going to be fairly short. All right. So uh, you see the nodes we're dealing with. Now, in my last war, you saw Jigner fight a Hyperion on flow. All right. So I'm like, all right, I'm not trying to die. And I've got some things uh, that I can use here. So may as well boost up, you know, even though it's going to be for pretty much just this one fight. Uh, now, one of the reasons that I use that 12% is because I had one in my overflow and it was about to expire if I didn't use it. So may as well use it. All right. So you see the boost I decided to go in here with. And now I was looking at this invulnerability boost and I used it, but I really shouldn't have because the real Nick Fury is not out. So I can take a special three without the invul invulnerability boost. So that pretty much was a waste. All right, but you know, I used it. And at the time of this recording, uh, I'm back to max um, boost on invulnerability because it came to the uh, uh, loyalty store. All right, so I tried to bait him out a little bit and he looked like he was not about to bait. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take this special three and vulnerability boost, so it doesn't matter. However, uh, it wouldn't have mattered even if I had not done the invulnerability boost. You know, he's almost gone at this point. So here we go again, boom. All that bleed damage. And now he throws his special, that's nice. And he's pretty much done. So had I not used the invulnerability boost, Either the real Nick Fury would have come out, in which case I would have killed him even faster, or he would have just been really hurt. Uh, all right, so now for a change, this mini is sitting here. I was the last one. So I'm like, hmm, yes, buffet. All right, this looks like a job for Warlock. So... If you guys remember, I really did not like fighting Domino. Hater. Okay. Um, but 
I decided I needed payback. Every chance I get payback. Once I got Warlock, I started hunting dominoes. Okay, so you see, you know, regen off the bat, but that's fine. Once we get the infection on her, uh, we ain't gonna even have to worry about that. So he is a great option for domino on buffet. Okay, so boom, you got the infection up, all right? And I'm just letting her hit me because all that does is help me get another infection uh, going, all right? So now we need her to throw that special two. She seemed to be reluctant. All right, there we go. Now, I'm still getting used to Warlock, and I could have fired off a special one. And you see, I, I did the uh, heavy attack to control the power since we're doing flow. But because of the node, you'll notice that I have no power right now because I didn't fire off my specials when I should have to reset everything. Uh, because I run suicides, I'm somewhat reluctant to fire specials. And so I get myself in that situation. Fortunately, Warlock doesn't really need it all that much. All right, so that was my participation in the war. Like I said, it was a very short war in terms of my participation. So we are gonna come back and we'll find out how we did. And we're back. And as you can see, we ended up winning this war. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you thought about the video, about the fighting, about this war in general. Uh, so far, we have been doing well as far as our win streak goes. So let's hope it continues. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.